It's 5 o'clock in the morning and today it is going to be a very long day for me as I am travelling to Dahej, Gujarat for a kick-off meeting with client. And the kick-off meeting will I think go up to 6 or 7 pm in the evening and I will be reaching hotel by 7.30 pm. It's 9.05 in the evening and I have returned to my hotel room. The kickoff meeting got completed by 7 or 7.30 pm and uh, just had my dinner and before going any further I would like to give you a quick room tour. Normally the kickoff meeting takes place after the award of contract from the client to its selected bidder. The main intention of this meeting is to initiate the project work. The main purpose of this meeting from the client side will be to get understand from the selected bidder that how the project will be planned, executed, monitored, controlled and then closed. Whereas the purpose of this meeting from the bidder side will be to understand the client's requirements to get them incorporated and then execute the project accordingly. So guys, my role in this project is of a planning engineer. Basically, I am a mechanical engineering graduate, but by profession, I am a planning engineer. So the role of a planning engineer is very difficult to explain in a single video and I will be making a separate video on that topic. But for now, I will be explaining at a summary level the role and the responsibilities of a planning engineer and how important is planning engineer for a project. So guys, after the contract is being awarded by the client to the selected bidder, then the first thing that the selected bidder will do is to appoint a project manager and a planning engineer. Now the project manager will guide the planning engineer in the overall phase, whereas the primary responsibility of the planning engineer lies in preparing a time schedule. Normally the oil and gas projects are of three, three and a half years, uh, keeping this in mind and plus the contractual conditions, a planning engineer needs to prepare a time schedule on a software or a tool which is called as a Primavera. Now Primavera is uh, used worldwide. So the planning engineer will prepare a time schedule. He will get it approved from the management as well as the client and then make him as a baseline. So the entire project for the entire life of the project will be monitored and controlled against this baseline. So this is one of the primary responsibility of the planning engineer and the next thing he will do is to prepare a planning package that is basically preparation of engineering, procurement and construction S-curves. 
so this was a short description about the roles and responsibilities of a planning engineer and i will be making a separate detailed videos out of that and if you want to choose a career as a planning engineer then it is a very exciting and a very rewarding career and there are many opportunities available for planning engineers in india and abroad also you guys have liked the video and understood the contents which i was trying to explain if you did then please do subscribe until then keep doing your best and see you in the next vlog thank you